All oh, right, abs and rally time here. Um, uh, this hand is pretty slow. Two rallies is uh good in some hands, but we don't really have any way to get cards in our graveyard. Think we're still gonna keep though. Uh, so just guy of some kind we're fighting against. Judging by that Temple of Epiphany. I guess there's a chance it could be something else, but most likely just guy. Uh, Crux of Fate. That's not the absolute worst. And we on Jungle Hollow. Eventually, we're gonna get to play a Seizure. I know. Oh, there's a Soul Fire. Sand Steep Citadel. Keep shipping the turn. Would have been nice to draw a carry at it or a Wayfinder or something to do a little sooner than Siege Rhino. Uh, so we'll take our beats here from Soul Fire. Well, at least he keeps passing a turn. Um. Well. That is a Wayfinder, so that's sweet. Play it first in case we get a tap land before we play land. Uh, like Blossoming Sands. Ooh, dumping two Wayfinders and a CDC. So now our multiple rally hand is actually looking way better. Because uh, we can actually rally, we can chump, rally for two, and get back three Wayfinders which will put a lot more cards in our graveyard and get us a bunch of lands for our second rally. Uh, so that's actually awesome. And that's fine. We don't get to chump, but we don't mind that being in the graveyard. I think there is a legitimate question as to whether we um, seize right now or rally next turn. Hmm. We'll fall to 18. He was up to 24. What's he got? A second soul fire. Uh, Jungle Hollow. So I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna ship the turn and go on the rally plan. Oh, uh, we could do it right now. I guess it doesn't make much of a difference. Cause uh, the cards stay till your next upkeep, and we don't really want to let him draw another card. Does it resolve? It does. So we get three Wayfinder. I guess the reason to wait there would be we won't end up discarding. But judging by our whipping, we might not end up discarding much anyway. Get a swamp. Mill a bunch more things. Get a... Uh... I guess a forest is fine. So we will have to discard one. So yeah, it probably would have been better just to wait and do that on his turn. I was he has two mana up anyway, so it's not like we're really playing around uh, a negate or something. I guess we I, playing it there does get around like it's solved, but I don't think their deck really plays that many counter spells anyway. The attacks are gonna triple block for sure. Uh, if we get blown out, that's fine. Because all these cards, these cards would be much better to have in our graveyard. That's the funny thing about Rally, is if they live till your next upkeep, they get exiled. <clears throat> but it's not like Whip of Erebos or something where um, just dying exiles them. If they die, they go back to the graveyard and you get to do it all again. Which made me think maybe this deck wants a sack outlet or something. So you could Rally back a bunch of things and then sack a bunch of your creatures to get them back in the graveyard for another go. Well, that was fine and odd. So there goes the Wayfinder. Uh, so now I think we're just going to play Siege Rhino. Oops. But we do need to tap for black mana. Siege Rhino. See what happens. Resolves. Nice. And then a tapped land. 
Uh, next turn, um, we can play Nyx Weaver and leave up an activation. Which isn't the worst. Valor Stance. Yep. Uh, that's the thing, we don't we don't really mind our creatures dying that much. I mean, assuming we don't get locked out of the game with a counter spell. Creatures dying is kind of good. So we really want to wait to rally until we can rally for five and get back to DC. So next turn, we're most likely just going to play Nyx Weaver and pass. Unless he plays a bunch of creatures, then we might go with Crux. Um, so we'll play Swamp. I guess it doesn't really matter. And Nyx Weaver. So that resolves. So the good news is, if he tries to kill it, we can get back a Den Protector and another Nyx Weaver and just do it again. So he's going to start throwing lightning strikes at us, apparently. So he's going to lightning strike our Nyx Weaver. So we're going to tap out and get back... Um, and protector, I guess. A little cheaper than Nyx Weaver. Although Nyx Weaver has the advantage of you can rally back Nyx Weaver. Um, and when this triggers on your upkeep, you can mill two cards and activate it in response, uh, which is pretty sweet. That's why we have four Nyx Weavers. Time just for a big rally here. So we'll get back three Wayfinders. We'll sack one uh, with Sadisi to get back to get probably another Rally. Uh, so here the question is, do we just Crux to get rid of that annoying Soulfire? That actually, uh, hmm, decisions, decisions. I don't think we have to crux here. I think we can just go on the rally plan. So we'll rally for five. Which is going to fill our graveyard a bunch more. Give us back a ton of things. So, um... I guess it doesn't especially matter which way we stack this, but we're stacking... Uh, what do we want in our graveyard? I guess we can stack a Sea Shrine now. Get that back for next time. So DC, yup. Get a, another Rally. Then we mill a bunch of cards. Uh, take the Blossoming Sands, I guess. Mill some Nyx Weavers. Um, uh, Blossoming Sands. See if I know Grey Merchant Commune. Oh boy, look at all those Grey Merchants. Uh, and then we'll take the Template. Oh, we got. Oh, excellent. Well, our next rally is going to be a good one. See if I know Trigger. See if I know Trigger. And then we can. Ship the turn, and we'll discard one of our Blossoming Sands and a Great Merchant. So this next rally is going to get us back triple Great Merchant, C and double Sea Trino. So I think we hmm, see what he does. Is he in an Ascendancy? One, two, three, four. Thunder Break Regent. Well, now I think we just win. We don't even have to do anything. We just uh, pass the turn. Mill a couple cards with a Nyx Weaver. We're not going to activate it this time, and we're just going to um, 
rally again and get back our gray merchants, huge rhinos, and next weavers. Um, so, yep, Nix Weaver mills two more. Um, another all we got. We're getting all four gray merchants. This is insane. Oh, this is what <laughs> this is what the rally deck is built to do. So we got that rally with CDC. Cast rally for five, and oh, he's probably gonna scoop. But look at all these triggers. This is insane. We get four Grey Merchants, <laughs> uh, two Siege Rhinos, and a Merciless Executioner. That is four, eight, twelve, uh, or two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen damage piece. So we're doing like fifty, around sixty damage this turn. Actually, should have stacked stack that differently for maximum damage since we got to sack one of our black mana symbols. But it doesn't really matter. Each Grey Merchant is still... He's at 15. Down to 3. So each Grey Merchant is still worth 12. Would have been 13 if we stacked differently. But, yeah. Sweet. That is, uh... That is what the Rally deck wants to do. Now he's probably going to be bringing in... Um... Counter spells. So we might want some number of duresses. Can we bring in all four? Uh, Murderous Cut actually seems pretty good. Crux isn't that exciting. Uh, really? Merciless Executioner, so-so. Against a token build, it's horrible, obviously. It seems like, uh, depending on the deck, against like the control decks, Merciless Executioner is actually awesome. It's a very high variance card. When your opponent has like six dragons, and that's their only way to really win the game, Merciless Executioner gets around the gate and uh, edicts a dragon. Doesn't matter if it's hexproof or whatever. Um, so, but then if you play against a token build or even like Abzan Aggro, it's only kind of eh, like it's horrible against uh, other Seder Wayfinder builds. But getting them to sack an Elvish Mystic on turn 3 or 4 or 5 just doesn't really do it. So I guess we'll do that. Bring in all the dresses. Night Howlers also. I'm not sure about that card in this deck at all. This hand is fine. This looks uh, basically like an Abzan control hand. And that's, I mean, that's what this deck sort of is. It's like a weird Abzan control build combined with a weird Abzan whip build with a built-in combo kill uh, when you just rally like we did last game. Uh, so he's starting with temples. I think we're going to go carry added here over Wayfinder. That sets us up for uh, either Sea Trino or Wayfinder plus Commune next turn. Uh, if he taps out for something, we're most, most likely to Sea Trino. I do like drawing cards with Abs and Charm, but uh, we might need it to kill a Mantis Rider or something. So I guess that would be the other play, would be to just exile Mantis Rider. Uh, but I don't think I like it. I think we gotta use 4 mana this turn, one way or another. Uh, so, um, yeah. Since we don't have any way of abusing our graveyard yet, I think we're just gonna see Trino here. Next turn, we can actually, like, Wayfinder or Commune plus Charm, which uh, might be better. Um, and then hopefully we'll save our Nyx Weaver for the following turn, when we can get something back from our graveyard if need be. What do we have here? More Mantis Riders, alright. So we're taking six in the air. Can't do much about that. Drops us down to 14. So now we really have to... Uh, we really want to kill a Mantis Rider now. Ooh. Uh, that's that has some appeal. But I think we're going to... Um, tap him properly, of course. 
So I think we're going to Abzan Charm uh, one of the Mantis Riders. Uh, get in there with our Siege Rhino. And then I think we're just going to go with Wayfinder here. Make sure we have land for next turn. Jungle Hollow, Milling, Rhino, Weaver, and Corsair. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, so let's see, next turn, assuming we don't run untapped land, we can either Weaver plus Commune or just Grey Merchant for three. Uh, Storm Breath. Jeez. He is getting a lot of flying damage in there. Drops us to seven. Uh, so I think we attack with Siege Rhino. Uh, we'll play Commune with the Gods. Another Grey Merchant. Well, now I guess we're on multiple Grey Merchant plan. Uh, Nyx Weaver to chump the Storm Breath. And Jungle Hollow, which actually means uh, we don't die just from him killing the Nyx Weaver. So it's one life above uh, his two creatures' attack. A Rabble Master? That's actually not a problem at the moment. Rabble Master makes a token. So we're gonna block uh, there, block chump there. Blossoming Sands. Well, technically, if he doesn't have a burn spell, Grey Merchant puts us up to 8, or a counter spell, actually. Disdainful Stroke on Grey Merchant uh, wins the game. So you go up to 8 from that. Oh. Yep, that does it. Uh, that would only allow us to gain one, which isn't enough to get around his two flyers. So, I think we want uh, another murderous cut here. Maybe in place of a duress. Could also bring in an end hostility. I think this is a match that we win, can't win. Let's see what kind of hand we get on the play. Uh. Sand's good. Double tap land's a little annoying. Uh, as a result, I think we're going to Temple of Silence and just see if we can find an untapped green source. Rally the Ancestors. Uh, I think we actually keep that, considering we have double Wayfinder. And we're going to get a lot of cards in our graveyard, theoretically. Uh, Sansep Citadel, so we're gonna have to wait till next turn to start wayfindering. Which is fine, I guess. Would have been nice to play it earlier, but he has a similar tap land draw. Another temple's not bad. That's a little wayfinder here. What do we get? Um, well, I think we're definitely taking an untapped land for once and playing a temple. Uh, another untapped land. Um, I don't think we really need that on top. We have another Wayfinder to find lands. Already have our one windswept teeth. Rabble Nesta. Alright. I think we're just going to block the token. We don't mind getting Wayfinders in the graveyard. 
another rally. Um, so here, we're going to crack that, get a green source. Uh, but I think we're going to Wayfinder and leave up Murderous, a Murderous Cut, or leave up Murderous Cut. Uh, Jungle Hollow, didn't mill anything too exciting. And then, do we want a murderous cut now? Thing is, we want our Wayfinder to die. I think this line is a little risky, but I think we actually want him to make a token and attack. So we can chump with our Wayfinder and then rally back all three Wayfinders. I think that's the plan. This, this is all because we have the second rally, so we have a big motivation to fill up our bin. So we're going to block there, and then murderous cut. Exiling uh, all lands. Lands are the one card that we basically never want to get back from our graveyard. Uh, he runs out of the gate, yep. So we take three. Uh, so now I think we're gonna, um, hmm. I want to rally back those Wayfinders. Rally for two. So he just has a million counter spells this draw. Play Jungle Hollow. We can do the same thing next turn, really. Just rally for two again. He gets to hit us for four, down to 13. Oh, another Rattle Master. All right. Him having double counter spell is pretty annoying. Uh, so now we will just do what we were trying to do last turn. Rally for four, or for two. Get back three wayfinders and a carry added. Uh, Sand Super Citadel. Oh, two green merchants. Uh, Blossoming Sands, and another great merchant to the graveyard. And I guess we want the untap land here. So now we'll play a Scry land. Definitely don't want carry added. So now the question is, basically, can we live? If we can live long enough to Nick Sweeper back a rally and rally back green merchants, then we win. The good news here is he has to attack, and we actually get to do a lot of blocking. So... I'm going to triple block one Rabble Master, chump the other, I guess. Him having both of those counter spells might be enough. We're gonna, it looks like we might be one turn too slow here. That drops us to seven. Yeah, if he has burn spells, nothing gets exiled. Another Nick Sweeper, so Nick Sweeper. Uh, 
think we gotta play our siege right now here, unfortunately. Just to stay alive. Thing is, if we if we try to leave a mix weaver, we can block, take five down to two, and then any burn spell kills us. This way, we actually have one or two blockers, and we're up to ten. Downside is we can't do our rally plan. Wait, what, what does he have? Lightning strike plus valor stance. So he kills the next weaver. Man, his rider. So if he, oh, all right, I don't know what happened there. So if we happen to just draw, naturally draw our rally, we win. Otherwise, have shot. So we're playing Nick Sweeper. Play Blossoming Sands, and then I guess we pass the turn. Uh, we can Abzan Charm if we have to. Storm Breath. Stoke the Flame targeting me. Um, is there any way of staying alive? Block, block, we're going to be one short. We kill one, block two, we still take three. Oh, he has two stoked opponents. Yeah, well, that does it. Can't do much about that, unfortunately. Uh, so we're about a turn too slow there if 